Fish River Station in Northern Australia. This former cattle ranch is a spectacular 700 square mile expanse of tropical savannas, rainforests, and wetlands along the Daly River. The land remains largely as it has always existed, but one thing is missing, people. For millennia, indigenous people lived off Northern Australia and served as its caretakers. One way they took care of it was through fire. Their controlled burns became an integral part of the landscape. But over the last two centuries, as European settlers started livestock operations and disrupted the indigenous way of life, natural fire patterns were similarly disrupted. Today, the northern Australian savanna is paying the price through fierce late season wildfires. The challenge for us these days is, if you like, to reinstate an indigenous landscape and to reinstate an indigenous landscape means to reinstate indigenous people to the very lands that they own. The Nature Conservancy, along with the Indigenous Land Corporation, the Australian Government and Pew Charitable Trusts are securing places like Fish River Station and helping return them to their traditional owners. Traditional owners like John Daly and his family. We've always known the importance of fire and uh, the use of fire on traditional lands and things like that and our traditional way of using fire. The Conservancy is assisting partner organizations as they re-establish natural burn patterns across the north. This work is also protecting our shared atmosphere from carbon emissions. Wildfires that occur later in the dry season have more fuel to burn and produce more greenhouse gas. Early season burning significantly reduces that release. It burns smaller, lower, and cooler than a wildfire. And the difference between those two is what you get as an offset. That's your emissions reduction. A reduction of 700% from leaving the ground alone. And with the passage of Australia's new carbon tax, eventually Indigenous people in Northern Australia will be able to sell the carbon they save to corporations looking to offset their own emissions. The Indigenous Australians working here in Onam Lands, Wardican Indigenous Protected Area, are leading the way. Their ranger program, supported in part by the Nature Conservancy, has saved 700,000 tons of greenhouse gases from going into the atmosphere in the last five years. And the sale of that carbon pays the community to live and work on their land year-round. This is the way of the future for our people. We'll be looking after the environment. It'll be there for future generations, not just my kids and our kids, but, you know, the whole of Australia. Not only just Australia, but, you know, the world over.